What's going on, people? It's your boy, Legend. I am back, and I decided to do something just a little bit different today. Um, everyone knows what's going on, so I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of details about, you know, staying in the house and being safe. While I want all of my followers and my viewers and my subscribers to do all of those things, um, I just wanted to try something different. My producer slash cameraman was unable to make it today because where we are, we're being told to, of course, stay at home. So I decided to just try something different. Let me know if you guys actually like this type of view. Maybe I can switch it up more often to do it this way where I'm more behind the camera and explaining things from my perspective. With that being said, I wanna go ahead and get into the shoe. Now, it is March, and for all of my sneakerheads or beginner sneakerheads or people who sometimes keep up with sneakerheads or sneakers in general know that March is Air Max month. And Air Max actually has a day. It's 326 every year. So on 320, I'm um, sorry, on 326, Nike typically drops a whole bunch of shoes to com commemorate Air Max day. Normally, they do a really good job. This year, I feel like they fell off just a little bit. Now, there is some heat coming out tomorrow. There's an Air Max 90 reverse duck camo that I told myself I'm not gonna buy, but who knows. Uh, but with all of the, the different things going on right now, Nike and Adidas have been blowing up with sales and they got me. So let's take a look at the shoe. This is a Nike Air Max 90 university gold and black. Now, before I get into it, you can see the typical Nike box, uh, Nike on the outside. Nothing is special about this box except the shoe. I am an 80s baby, grew up in the 90s, so I remember when cartoons were good. And when I first saw this particular shoe, I reposted it on my Instagram, which by the way is at IamLegend underscore 716. Make sure you follow me over there. Um, I reposted it, a bunch of people said those are dope. When do those come out? And I did not have a solid release day because I didn't know. And Nike never actually put these out with a release date. So as I was getting emails about, hey, this is 30% off, check your Nike app, you can stack sales. Um, I got an email about, uh, I believe it was like a Jordan that I wasn't necessarily interested in, but I clicked the link because it was late and I was bored and I had nothing else to do. And this particular shoe came up and I was like, well, there's no way that this one is on sale. It hasn't even come out yet. Well, it actually did come out and it actually was on sale. I believe the retail price was either 120 or 140, but I got these for under $90 and it was free shipping. So I figured I'd had to grab them. Um, and when you'll see these, you'll understand why the first thing I thought of was the Simpsons. So again, this is the Air Max 90. Oh, got it covered up. And there it is. So. This is your Nike Air Max 90 in the, uh, what did they call it? University Gold, University Gold colorway. Um, and as you can see, sometimes with Nike, you do get a couple flaws, but I feel like I can get that out just quick clean. Um, this is just a super clean shoe. The insole, let's, let's take a look at it a little bit better. You have, for whatever reason, you have purple lettering where it says Nike Air. As you can see, size nine, so this is a personal pair. Um, this is the inside. Now this blue, I don't know if I should call this teal or if the camera's picking it up properly or like a ocean blue, but you have this ocean, I'll call it ocean blue suede on the outside and you have the Air Max in plastic right there. You also have that same ocean blue color here at the lace and at the very top where the laces go as well, as well as this pink color. Now these two pinks are a little bit different. I'm not sure if that's a fabric, reason why the color is different or it's just a different color pink. Um, but my favorite part has to be this university gold um, right in the toe box. That is the part that I really truly love about this shoe. The university gold just pops and it makes me think of the donut Homer Simpson used to eat all the time or the one that would make him drool. As you can see on the back, you have your typical Nike Air. This one is written in white with that university gold backing. I'm actually gonna grab both of them just to see if there's any difference in them. Same. Nike Air on the insole on that one. So they, they mirror each other, so we don't need to go into both of them. Uh, so we're gonna flip it over, take a look at the bottom. We'll leave that one there. 
typical Air Max 90 outsole. Now I've often wondered why they went with a different color on the uh, midsole here and there, but a different, completely different color on the outsole. But I do enjoy the fact that it allows it to have some sort of design and traction pattern from the bottom all the way to the top. And then you always have a pop of color right there. And it's that same university blue. I'm not sure if you're picking it up in the camera or not, but the air bubble on the inside of the Air Max 90 is the exact same color as the blue suede on the outside. It goes all the way around with that white. And of course you can see the air bubble on the inside as well, that university blue colorway. And you can, I'm sorry, uh, that ocean blue or teal, whatever Nike wants to call it. Actually, let me go look up and see if it has a color. All right, so I just checked the Nike website and it the color code or the color is University Gold Battle Blue, White, and Black. So I'll stop calling it Ocean Blue and call it Battle Blue. However, in a battle, do you really want to be that bright blue? That's a topic for another day. Uh, but as you can see, it's just a, a simple yet bright color Air Max 90. Now I told myself, like I said, when I first posted it, I was like, oh, I have to have it. And then I said, well, self, you have a few other bright Air Max 90s. Do you really need another? Because I do have both colors of the Viotech, the 1.0 and the 2.0 that came in the Air Max 90. And I told myself that I was going to get some normal colored Air Max 90s. And then I remembered why I didn't have any Air Max 90s is because when they're in normal colors, to me, now this is just me, do not flame me in the comment section. Uh, to me, the, the normal colors are just kind of boring. So I picked these up. Nike got, uh, got me yet again for another sale. Um, but I'm actually excited to have them, add them to the collection. I feel like they're going to get a lot of wear um, in these upcoming summer months, assuming that we're allowed to go outside. As always, if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like on my video, subscribe to my channel. Um, I am on the road to 500 subscribers. At 500 subscribers, I'm going to try to do some sort of giveaway. What that is yet, I don't know. I've got a little bit of time. I'm roughly at about two. 30-ish right now, so the road to 500 is real. Um, I definitely want to get there before, I'd like to get there before Easter if at all possible, but we're going to keep pushing. I definitely appreciate everyone who's already subscribed to my channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, share these videos with your friends and family um, just to give them something to watch while they're stuck at home, uh, being bored out of their minds. This has been another episode of Legendary Mixes. Um, I also did forget, uh, hit that bell. It should be, if you're watching this on your phone, it should be roughly right around this area here. Hit that bell so you get notified every time I post. Um, so you can be the first ones to watch it and leave your opinions down in the comment section. You know, I love interacting with all of the people who comment down in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram. If I did not say that I am legend underscore seven one six. This has been another episode of legendary kicks. Peace.